Though we don't always think about robots, they are near us. Did you know that cars, computers, and mobile phones are all made by industrial robots? All About Robots, Episode 3, Industrial Robots. All robots in industrial sites are industrial robots. They can do intricate tasks 24-7. They are useful in many fields that require mass production. Machines can perform manual tasks when it is manually operated, but a robot can perform repetitive and complicated tasks when it is programmed. Machines and robots are different. So what do we use robots for? We use robots for palletizing, sealing, welding, machine tending, and press handling. That's a lot of things, isn't it? How do robots carry out these tasks? They use different tools attached to the end of their arms to perform these tasks. When using robots, you can attach tools that are directly applicable to your purpose. Then, what kind of tasks do we do with tools? Handling. Handling is one of the most important operations. The robots transport objects by touching them directly. We use a tool called the gripper which makes the robot's automated motion move like human fingers to grip an object. A customized tool used by the gripper to grab an object is called the jaw. A generally used tool is parallel gripper, which makes parallel movements. The angular gripper makes angular movements. The parallel gripper opens and closes parallel to the object. It is most widely used because it is easy to use and can be adjusted to some extent. For the angular gripper, jaws open and close at an angle around the center axis. There are also the three-jaw gripper with three jaws, the vacuum gripper with vacuum suction, and the magnetic gripper that uses magnets. Handling is improving as intelligent robots. The robots find objects, recognize their size, shape, and color with new sensor-based recognition systems. Evaluate and select them quickly according to the requirements and proceed into handling according to the instructions. Global companies with smartphone assembly lines, pharmaceutical, cosmetic, food, and other companies are using robots for mass production. As machine learning, like 3D recognition, moving object recognition, and object detection, advances, its application also expands. So, more industries will use robots for handling in the future. Spot welding is joining two metal sheets together using a strong electric current to create pressure and heat for welding. Robots carry this process out with welding guns. In order to weld objects with different thicknesses and materials, welding guns have become bigger. Robots do the welding now instead of humans. Robots weld three to five times faster than humans. They can significantly increase productivity. Arc welding is joining metals together using the electricity in the air. It is a dangerous job because the heat ranges from 5,000 to 6,000 Kelvin. Robots with arc welding guns can replace humans and take away the risk of casualties of high-risk jobs. Sealing is putting paint on the surface of products. Its purpose is to protect, improve the appearance, and perform other special functions. Even in toxic environments full of volatile solvents, sealing robots with spray guns remain unaffected and can manufacture high-quality products. The vehicle assembly line started using robots for sealing, and the shipbuilding and heavy equipment industries are doing the same. This brings up the question, why do we use industrial robots? People now want to avoid working in poor conditions, with extreme temperatures, humidity, and noise, and are used to a higher standard of income. We use robots in these fields in order to keep them operating. It is also to minimize decreased concentration and the number of defective products that can happen because of a long, repetitive job. Welding and sealing are not only done in poor working conditions, but these jobs also require a certain level of expertise. 
The industry has a lot of available work, but is lacking workers. Robots are the best solution for the problem, and they help decrease the cost of production. It is also impossible for humans to be as precise as robots for micro-level, ultra-precise manufacturing, such as for semiconductors. In conclusion, we use industrial robots for safety, reducing defects, decreasing costs, precision, and consistent quality. Robots are around us. We have learned about industrial robots in this video. Next time, we will learn about collaborative robots.